You, tell me briefly, I want no long speech. Did you not know that this had been forbidden? Of course I knew. There was a proclamation. And so you dared to disobey the law? Well, it was not Zeus who published this decree, nor had the powers who rule among the dead imposed a law such as this upon mankind. Nor could I think that you, a man, could override the laws of heaven unwritten and unchanging. Not of today or yesterday is their authority. They are eternal. No man saw their birth. Was I to stand before the God's tribunal for disobeying them because I feared a man? I knew I was to die, even without your edict. But if I am to die before my time, why then? I count it gain <laughs> for someone who lived as I have, ringed about countless miseries. Why then death is welcome. This doom brings me little grief, but when my mother's son lay there dead, had I neglected him and left him there unburied, that would have caused me grief. This causes me none. And if you think it folly, then perhaps I am accused of folly by the fall. For it is those that are most obstinate that suffer the greatest fall. The hardest iron most fiercely tempered in the fire, that is the one that is snapped and splintered. I have seen the wildest horses tamed, and only by the tiny bit. There is no room for pride in one who is a slave. This girl already learned the art of insolence when she transgressed the laws that I established. And now to that she adds a second outrage, to boast of what she did and laugh at us. Now she would be the man, not I, if she defeated me and did not pay for it. And though she be my niece or closer still than all our family, she shall not escape the direst penalty. No, nor shall her sister. I judge her guilty too. She played her part in burying the body. Summon her. Just now I saw her raving and distracted within the palace. Why then, would you simply do more than take and kill me? I will have nothing more and nothing less. Then why delay? For me, no word of yours pleases me. God forbid it should so. And everything in me displeases you. But what could I win renown more glorious than the given burial to my own brother? These men think it too, that but I tear a cow stead into silence. A king has many a privilege, the greatest to do and say what he will. You are the only one in Thebes to think it. These men think it too, but they dare not speak. Have you no shame? Not to conform with others. To reverence a brother is no shame. Was he no brother, he who died for Thebes? One mother and one father who gave them birth. By honouring the traitor, you dishonour him. His death will not hear this testimony. Yes, if the traitor fare the same as he. It was a brother that died, not a slave. He died attacking Thebes. He saved us. Even so, the God of death demands these rights. The good demand more honour than the wicked. Well then, maybe in death they will be reconciled. Death does not make an enemy a friend. Even so, I loved them both, not shared their hatred. Down then to hell, love there if love you must, while I am living, no woman shall have rule. Okay. I can put you please for No, no, don't worry, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, so yeah. Um, in uh, hearing that all out, it's a little long, a okay. little long. I think you can trim, trim the last, whatever it is in your text, the last, Half a page and a bit. What, the quick five bits. 
Well, it's, it's, once you get into that, it's good. But we might need to find a slightly earlier end. It's maybe a little bit too long. Um, nice intensity there and good on the speech. Still, the note remains. Don't go all over the place too much. Decide when you're moving and move with purpose, not snail crown. Um, and also, but good then, and what works is when you take that note about when you're speaking to everybody, that, that works really nicely. And so with gesture, be, a, be bold with that. Don't, don't do half measures, as it were. You know, I'm speaking to everyone. I think that's a bit over -ice. It's not musical, for God's sake. But, you know, when you do it, you can be big. Um, and with Creon, just watch that. You know, he is in charge. Don't feel you need to earn. You know, you're not trying to earn her approbation. You're not trying to get her to agree with you. You're reminding her that your word is the law. And the law is that you shall die. And you say, oh, well, that's fine. I've, even before you 